Good morning. Good morning. It works. Good morning at home as well. Um, we had a little bother with the microphone last week, but uh, Miranda sorted us out. Um, a couple of notices, first of all. Uh, please come through for coffee, and please, if you would like to help with coffee, put your name down on the rotor, which I think is probably in the kitchen. Um, we may need to check that. And again, if anybody wants to read in our services, then please um, speak to me afterwards or Charlotte. Um, and you can't hear me. No. Ooh. Whack me up. <laughs> I'll speak as loud as I can, Audrey. Okay. Not getting it. It's me Is it switched on? She's probably using the battery. Is it switched on? But my internet is never off. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't need a new battery because I've put one in yesterday. Oh, now that's Okay. Um, so coffee rotor, please, if you'd like to join it or if you'd like to do a reading. We are still quite desperate on our PCC for somebody to step forward and be secretary. Um, we have a job description. It is about 10 hours maximum a month. Um, and that's sort of spread out over the year. Some months are less than that and some months might be a little bit more. But that's absolute maximum. Um, and it's basically attending meetings, and taking notes and sending out minutes and preparing agendas. Um, if you feel called to that, speak to me, or if you know anybody in the community who has got time and wants to be busy with something, you don't have to be somebody who comes to church. It's just somebody who would be capable of being um, a secretary. So have a think, if possible. Um, and Sue Armstrong has asked me to um, advertise on Sunday the 20th of August, which isn't this Sunday, but the following Sunday, um, there's an afternoon event at God's Field, which is where Sarah Vey lives. She's opening up um, the 14th century chapel that is um, part of her home there. And it, it is beautiful. I've been there. And they're doing a walk um, at 2.30. The walk is about three miles in the countryside and then they're coming back to the chapel for tea and sandwiches and cakes and dogs on leads, well-behaved dogs and well-behaved owners are, are welcome um, as well and all the donations um, for it will go to St Mary's so you need to contact Sue Armstrong if you want to go and I've got a leaflet if anybody wants one. We meet in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Today we are remembering Mary Sumner. And there is a service this afternoon at 2 o'clock at St Mary's in Old Oldsford to celebrate and remember Mary Sumner, the founder of the Mother's Union. And we are very blessed to have the worldwide president with us at that service and the bishop will be there also. Just read what my book says for us. Mary Elizabeth Sumner Nee Hayward was born in 1828 at Swinton. In 1848 she married a young curate, George Henry Sumner, nephew of Archbishop Sumner and who himself became Bishop of Guildford in 1888. A mother of three children, Mary called a meeting in 1876 at which the Mother's Union was founded, providing a forum in which to unite mothers of all classes in the aim of bringing up children in the Christian faith. Baptism and parental example were its two basic principles. At first a parochial organisation, 
it grew steadily into an international concern, encouraging the ideal of a Christian home. And Mary died on this day in 1921. And of course, it was at Old Oldsford that Mother's Union began and was founded. Let's be quiet and still before we pray together. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. As we come to our time of confession, we bring before God all those things which we wish maybe that we should not have said or done. My brothers and sisters, as we prepare to celebrate the presence of Christ in word and sacrament, let us call to mind and confess our sin. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. We are heartily sorry and repent of all our sins. For your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We say together, Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And our collect for today. Faithful and loving God, who called Mary Sumner to strive for the renewal of family life, give us the gift of your Holy Spirit that through word, prayer and deed, your family may be strengthened and your people served. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We have our first read. The first reading is from Hebrews chapter 13. Let mutual love continue. Do not neglect to show hospitality to strangers, for by doing that, some have entertained angels without knowing it. Remember those who are in prison, as though you were in prison with them. 
those who are being tortured as though you yourself were being tortured. Let marriage be held in honour by all and let the marriage bed be kept undefiled for God will judge fornicators and adulterers. Keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have. For he has said, I will never leave you or forsake you. This is the word of the Lord. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. So I say to you, ask and it will be given to you. Search and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened for you. For everyone who asks receives and everyone who searches finds. And for everyone who knocks, the door will be opened. Is there anyone among you who, if your child asks for a fish, you will give a snake instead of a fish? Or if the child asks for an egg, will give a scorpion? If you then, who are evil, know how to give good good gifts to your children, How much more will the Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Please do be seated. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you hear us when we pray. Lord, we thank you for those whose word, action or influence led us to be here this morning to worship you. We remember and give thanks for those family members, Sunday school teachers, church leaders, friends and colleagues who have encouraged us to follow you. Father, we give you thanks for the fellowship which we find in this place. For the fellowship which supports us as we seek to put our faith into practice in our daily lives. Strengthen us, Lord, in your service so that we, in turn, may be an encouragement to others. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we thank you for your world. We praise you for giving us so much. Lord, help us to see the 
beauty of your creation all around us. Help us to appreciate your greatness. Help us to safeguard your creation so that our children and future generations will benefit from the beauty of all that you have created. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for our community here in Oldsford. We pray for all who are on holiday at this time, those who have rest and re relaxation from their work, from school. We pray especially for our young people waiting for exam results. We pray for those who have choices to make. We pray for those who are already feeling anxious about returning to school. Heavenly Father, we pray for each and every person in our community here, and especially we pray for those who have woken today with worries, with concerns, or in despair. Lord, may they know you. May there be somebody to tell them of you and that they are loved. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for your world. <clears throat> We pray for those places where there is chaos, pain, confusion. We pray for those places across Europe where there are fires still raging and people are displaced. Father, we pray for all who lead, all who take on great responsibilities. May they genuinely serve all those that they represent. May they make decisions full of compassion for the good of all especially for the weakest and most vulnerable. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. <coughs> Heavenly Father, we pray for our church in this place. Father, we pray for unity Lord, we praise you that you have made each one of us different. We are unique, each one of us, with different likes, different things that we dislike.
Lord, help us to respect one another. Help us to be one body in this place, all striving and working for you together. Lord, guide us by your Holy Spirit to follow your path in this place. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for those who are sick, especially those whose illness is long-term, for those who are finding their illness difficult to bear. We pray for all those named on our pew sheet, for those who have asked for our prayers. All the prayers that are in our prayer box and on our prayer tree, we lift to you, Lord. Lord, help us to care for those around us. Give us the right words. And help us to know what simple acts of kindness may help someone. Father, we remember before you those who have died and those whose anniversaries fall at this time. Lord, give strength to those who are left to grieve and help us to share in each other's sorrow. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for ourselves. Father, when we are weary, when we are challenged, we pray that we can stay close to you, that we can lean on you, be strengthened by you. Lord, may your Holy Spirit dwell in each one of us and guide us in all that we think and say and do. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. <clears throat>
The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Blessed are you, Lord God, our light and our salvation. To you be glory and praise forever. From the beginning you have created all things, and all your works echo the silent music of your praise. In the fullness of time you made us in your image, the crown of all creation. You give us breath and speech, that with angels and archangels and all the powers of heaven, we may find a voice to sing your praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. How wonderful the work of your hands, O Lord. As a mother tenderly gathers her children, you embraced a people as your own. When they turned away and rebelled, your love remained steadfast. From them you raised up Jesus, our Saviour, born of Mary, to be the living bread, in whom all our hungers are satisfied. He offered his life for sinners, and with a love stronger than death, he opened wide his arms on the cross. On the night before he died, he came to supper with his friends, and taking bread, he gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to them, saying, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. At the end of supper, taking the cup of wine, he gave you thanks and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Father, we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. We remember his dying and rising in glory, and we rejoice that he intercedes for us at your right hand. Pour out your Holy Spirit as we bring before you these gifts of your creation. May they be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. As we eat and drink these holy things in your presence, form us in the likeness of Christ and build us into a living temple to your glory. Remember, Lord, your church in every land. Reveal her unity, guard her faith, and preserve her in peace. Bring us, at the last, with all the saints, to the vision of that eternal splendor for which you have created us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, by whom, with whom, and in whom, with all who stand before you, in earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise, blessing and honour and glory and power be yours for ever and ever. Amen.
Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. <coughs> Draw near with faith. Receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you and his blood, which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that he died for you, and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving.
God, the source of all holiness and giver of all good things, may we who have shared at this table as strangers and pilgrims here on earth be welcomed with all your saints to the heavenly feast on the day of your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We pray together. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. Would you please stand and we will share the peace together. God has called us to live in peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be Now my final blessing for us today. Peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and all those that you love this day and always. Amen. Amen. Now go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Amen.